Turn with me to the Gospel of John, the fifth chapter, the 39th and the 40th verse. The Bible says, Search the Scriptures, and this is Jesus speaking, For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. It's interesting that if we study the Old Testament, it speaks of the Lord Jesus. And Jesus here is speaking to the Jewish people who had received the oracles of God. That is, they'd received the law and the prophets. And Jesus said, if you'll search what they have to say, you're going to find me in those Old Testament books. If you read Psalm 22, it is written as though a man is standing at the foot of the cross. It says, they pierced my hands and my feet talks about Jesus saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And Psalm 22 was written 900 years before Christ came into the world. It was also written before crucifixion was ever even heard of. If you turn to Isaiah 53, <coughs> you read about the Lord Jesus and his suffering. The Bible says he is despised and rejected of men. He's a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He is despised, and we esteemed him not. And it also says in Isaiah 53, that upon him the Lord hath allayed the iniquity of us all. That is, when Jesus went to the cross, all of our sins were laid upon him. He paid the price in full. He died in our place. He paid the penalty and punishment for sin. And he also rose the dead rose from the dead the third day and he defeated death so the old testament speaks of the lord jesus the new testament speaks of the lord jesus the bible says that the holy scriptures are able to make us wise unto salvation because they point us to christ the only savior the bible says in acts 5 12 neither is there salvation in any other for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved but notice why people won't come to Christ. It says, and you will not come to me that you might have life. It says you will not. It's because of a stubborn will. Well, why does a person have a stubborn will? Well, Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 19, he said, this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. Jesus is the light of the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the one that has come into the world, that we might have life, that we wouldn't have to walk in darkness. And anyone can have everlasting life through the Lord Jesus if they're willing to repent, that is, turn from their sins, and put their trust in, in the Lord Jesus Christ, receive him into your life. The Bible says, To as many as receive him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Thank you very much for listening, and have a wonderful day.